Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hello, future engineers, subscribers, viewers, and students. There is another problems in this video, Engineers in Progress. And these types of problems are light, yet it will really improve your analysis thinking skills later. So these are word problems, number relations still on number relations so we have this first problem the winning candidate for president of the freshman class received 2898 votes if that's what if that was 210 more than half the votes cast how many freshmen voted so in this statement this 2898 votes is equal to 200 10 was means equals 210 more than half the votes cast so if we denote x as the number of freshmen vo voting freshmen then 2898 is equated to x over 2 plus 210 so that's the interpretation of that statement or translation of that statement so x is the number of freshmen voting freshmen so therefore 2898 is x over 2 plus 210 so 2898 minus 210 is equal to 2688 equals x over 2 so x therefore is 2688 times 2 and that is 5376 so there were 5376 freshmen who voted problem 13 Ellen noticed that she had worked one-third of the problems in her math assignment and that when she had worked two more problems she would have halfway through the assignment so how many problems were in the assignment so again we denote X as the number of problems in the assignment and take note at present Ellen noticed that she had worked one third of the problems in her math assignment. Then, when she had worked two more problems, so x over 3 plus 2, then she would have halfway through the assignment. So, therefore, the equation is x over 3 plus 2 equals x over 2. Multiply everything by 6, the LCD, so 2x plus 12 equals 3x. 3x minus 2x is x, so x is 12 or 12 is x, so there, there are 12 problems in the assignment. Problem 14, Sal has 316 more stamps in his collection than Bruce, and together they have 2736 stamps. How many stamps does each have? So we will denote as B as the number of stamps that Bruce has. Therefore, the number of stamps that Sal has is B plus 316 from that statement. Adding B plus quantity B plus 316 equals 2736. So B plus B plus 316 equals 2736. 2B is equal to 2420. So B is uh, 1210. That's for Bruce. 1,210 stamps for Bruce and for Sal B plus 316, 1,526 stamps for Sal. Problem 15, 8 less than half of the students in the sophomore class at a certain college have their own cars. If 258 cars are owned by sophomores, how many sophomores are there? So if we denote x as the number of sophomores in this 
class, then eight less than half of the students in the sophomore class have their own cars. So meaning to say, since this is the number of cars owned by the sophomores, then this is equated to x over 2 minus 8. That's the interpretation. 8 less than half of the students in the sophomore class in at a certain college have their own cars. So 258 equals x over 2 minus 8. Or x over 2 minus 8 equals 258. x over 2 is 266. So x is 2 times 266. So it is 532. x is 532. So there are 532 sophomores in that class. A student has test scores of 75, 83, 68, 71, and 58. So they have five R test. If the final counts one third of the course grade and the R test determine the other two thirds, what must the student make on the final to have an average of 75 for the course? So the grade is two thirds of the average of this R test plus the final uh, grade or final score divided by 3, then it is equated to 75. So again, two-thirds of the average of the R test plus one-third of the final score, which is we denote X, equals 75. So two-thirds of quantity 75 plus 83 plus 68 plus 71 plus 58 divided by 5, that's average, plus X over 3, x is the final score equals 75. So simplifying this quantity inside the parentheses, so 2 thirds of 355 over 5 plus x over 3 equals 75. Then 355 over 5 is 71. So 2 thirds of 71 plus x over 3 equals 75. Multiply everything by LCD, which is 3, and 2 times 71 is 142. Take note. So 142 plus X equals 75 times 3 is 225. Then X is 225 minus 142. So that means X is 83. Let's continue. Problem 17. The equation C equals 5 quantity F minus 32 over 9 gives the relation between Fahrenheit and Celsius temperatures. Find the temperature at which the reading is the same on both thermometers. So C is 5 over 9. We replace F by C because the reading is, is the same as stated here. So cross multiply 9c equals 5c minus 5 times 32 negative 160. So 9c equals 5c minus 160. 9c minus 5c is 4c equals negative 160. So c, which is equal to f, equals negative 160 over 4, and that is negative 40 degrees. 18. The intelligence quotient is represented by IQ and is given by IQ equals 100 M over C where M is the mental age and C is the chronological age. Find the mental age of a 10, 10 year old with an IQ of 120. So it's a matter of substitution in the formula. 120 equals 100 M over C which is 10. So 100 over 10 is 10. So M is 120 over 10. So M is 12. So 12 years old. Then problem 20 for a fetus more than 12 weeks old. L is 1.53 T minus 6.7 where L is the length in centimeters and T is the age in weeks. Find the age of a fetus that is 17.78 centimeters in length. So again, this is a matter of substitution. 17.78 equals 1.53 T minus 6.7. So 17.78 plus 6.7 is 24.48 equals 1.53 T. T therefore is 24.48 over 1.53. So T is 16 weeks. 
problem 20, every freshman student at a particular college is required to take a mathematics aptitude test. A student who passes the examination enrolls in differential equations and a student who fails the test must enroll in calculus. In a freshman class of 1,240 students, there are more students enrolled in calculus than in differential equations. So I'm going to say there were many students who failed than who passed the aptitude test. However, if 30 more students had passed the test, each course would have the same enrollment. How many students are taking each course? So we will denote C as the number of students enrolled in calculus. So remember, this number is greater than the other number. So the other number, the number of students enrolled in differential equation is 1,240 minus C. Then from the conditions, if 30 more students had passed the test, its course would have the same enrollment. So we should subtract 30 from the number of students enrolled in calculus because we have this condition if 30 more students had passed the test then that 30 there should be added to the number of students enrolled in differential equations and they are equal so that is c minus 30 equals 1 to 40 minus c plus 30 c minus 30 equals number of students enrolled in differential equations plus 30 because of that uh, condition. So C plus C is 2C, 1 to 40 plus 30 plus 30 is 1,300. So 2C equals 1,300. Therefore, the number of students enrolled in calculus is equal to 650. And the number of students enrolled in differential equations is 1 to 40 minus 650, and that is 590. So that's it. Then problem 20, this, 21, this is the last. The annual sophomore class picnic is planned by a committee consisting of 17 members. A vote to determine whether the picnic should be held at the beach or in the mountains resulted in a victory for the beach location. However, if two committee members had changed their votes from favoring the beach to favoring the mountains, the mountain site would have won by one vote. How many votes did its picnic location receive? So that's the problem. So we will denote x, which is actually greater in number than the other number, x as the number of votes for the beach location. And therefore, 17 minus b sorry, let's denote B rather. 17 minus B is the number of votes received for the mountain location or mountain site. And we have these conditions if two committee members had changed their votes from favoring the beach to favoring the mountains, the mountain site would have one by one vote. So they are not equal if that's the case. For them to be equal, we should adjust. So that is since b is greater than 17 minus b, b minus 2, if that, if two committee members had changed their votes from favoring the beach location to favoring the mountains, so b minus 2, that 2 should be added to the right side, 17 minus b, in the following manner. So b minus 2, then the number of votes received by the mountain site would be 17 minus b plus 2. But take note, these numbers are not equal because this number in the right side, the number of votes is, for the condition, the number of votes received by the mountain side would be one greater than the number of votes in the beach location because it is stated here. So for them to be equal, we either subtract one from this right number or add one from the left side to be equal. So take note that this number is is one greater than this number. For them to be equal, it's either we add one here in the left side or subtract one from the right side. So I'll do the 
adding of 1 in the left side and it is now equated with that right side. So b minus 2 plus 1 equals 17 minus b plus 2. So 17 plus 2 is 19. This is negative 1. Negative 2 plus 1, negative 1. To the right, so plus 1. So 20 would be the right side. And the left side would be b minus negative b. So that's b plus b. And that is 2b equals 20. So b therefore is 10. That's the number of votes or number of committee members who voted for the bits location. And 17 minus 10 is 7. That's the actual number of votes received by the mountain site. So that's why if two committee members had changed their votes from favoring the beach location to favoring the mountains, this beach location will only receive 8, 10 minus 2, and the mountain site would be 9. That's why 9 is greater than 8 by 1, as stated here. So that's it, that's it for this video. I hope that your thinking skills will develop as we consider more word problems.